daylight saving time ends overnight when clocks turn back an hour. That means an extra hour of sleep, but it also means it will be darker earlier in the evening, and that could impact people dealing with seasonal depression. That's right, and so Dr. Dorothy Sid from Northwestern's Feinberg School of Medicine is joining us now to share a little bit more on how to deal with the time change. Doctor, it comes every year, but there's always an adjustment. How does this fallback to standard time uh, impact our body clocks, our circadian rhythms? Yeah, that's a great question. So before, so what I should say first is that light um, in the environment is important cue for our body clocks. Behaviors and functions of the body, such as our sleep-wake patterns, our digestion, our activity levels, um, our stress response is all vary in accordance to our daily or circadian rhythms that are highly responsive to light. So our rhythms rely on this exposure to light from the environment that's sufficient light at the proper time to keep our body clocks regular, coordinated, and in alignment with the light-dark cycle outside. So to answer your question, the fallback to standard time results in just a subtle adjustment in light exposure more ample light in the morning, more darkness in the evening, um, that more closely aligns with our natural body clocks. Um, and so you can ask, well, is standard time better for us? And, you know, our perspective is that because standard time is more closely aligned and um, coordinated with our natural body rhythms, then adhering to standard time as long as possible is expected to produce positive health benefits. So, doctor, taking that into account, daylight saving time can be linked to seasonal depression. What are some symptoms that people should watch for? Right. So, symptoms of depression that we can watch for um, would include the following. Um, feelings of low mood, a loss of interest or enjoyment of activities, um, having decreased energy, excessive fatigue, increased sleep, just feeling hungry, um, can onset in the fall and the winter months, naturally resolve in the spring and summer, and it signals um, a condition called seasonal affective disorder. Right. We have just a um, quick moment, Doc. Watch. Sorry. We yeah. just have a very quick moment. What's the one tip people need to know to adjust to the time change? Right, so what we should do is try to adjust um, as soon as possible. So um, go to bed at your usual bedtime, and before getting into bed, set your clocks back one hour, wake at your standard time, um, enjoy the extra hour of sleep, and on the Sunday after the time change, just keep to the normal bedtime. That will be a little bit earlier, an hour earlier. Um, this will, all of these things will help to reset your scheduled sleep, your sleep schedule, and just allow you to sleep longer and better. All right, Dr. Sid, thank you so much for that advice. Appreciate it. You're very welcome. Thanks. All right. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.